how to install MIUI 11 launcher on your Redmi K20 Pro. If you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey peeps what's up Anji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install miui 11 launcher on your redmi k20 pro as you can see i do have the redmi k20 pro running miui 11 global stable version 11.0.3.0 based on android 10 and if we go into settings and then home screen default launcher you will see that the redmi k20 pro does come with poco launcher out of the box now why would you want to install miui 11 stable launcher on your redmi k20 pro well android is all about options and it is a personal preference i will show you two methods of installing miui 11 stable launcher on your redmi k20 pro the first one will be using magisk which means you would require root the second method will require twerp recovery for those of you who have an unlocked bootloader and do not have twerp recovery installed you can always fast boot boot into twerp recovery swipe to allow modifications flash the zip file and be done with it that way you will still keep your stock miui recovery and be able to use miui 11 launcher on your redmi k20 pro all the files which we're going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video and those of you who want to use magisk will use miui 11 stable launcher magisk zip file and those of you who want to use the twerp recovery method will use the twerp recovery zip file first method i'm going to show you is the magisk method so we will open magisk manager click on the three bar menu on the top left go into modules then we will click on the plus sign and then click on the three dot menu on the top right and select show internal storage if you see the option as hide internal storage then you need not do anything next thing click on the three bar menu on the top left and select your device's name in this case the redmi k20 pro now we need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the magisk module zip file in case you downloaded the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred the file annually so it is in the root directory all we need to do is select the miui 11 stable launcher magisk zip file wait for magisk to do its thing and then reboot back into android we can unlock our device go into magisk three bar menu on the top left go into modules and make sure that miui 11 launcher module is installed and activated how can you tell it is activated you can tell that by the check mark inside the circle next we will go into settings and then go back into home screen default launcher and bam there it is we have the option of system launcher which is our miui 11 stable launcher click on the home button and you will see that the ui will take some time because it is the initial load of miui 11 launcher once the ui has loaded everything will be smooth as butter and this is our miui 11 launcher working like a boss on the redmi k20 pro if you press and hold on the empty space you'll get another menu then you can go into settings go into more and you can see that our default launcher right now is system launcher which is miui 11 stable launcher you can choose between two different kind of home screens the regular or the one with application drawer you can also toggle the option for app vault on and off you can also change the icon size right now it is set to medium using the slider you can change it let's set it to xs which is extra small click on apply home button and there it is we now have extra small icons on our home screen so this is the first method of installing miui 11 stable launcher on your redmi k20 pro we will now go ahead and delete this module because we're going to use the twerp recovery method once you've deleted the module you do need to reboot your device once back into android we can unlock our device go into magisk and make sure that the module was deleted successfully so as you can see we have no modules installed we can go into settings and home screen default launcher is now back to poco launcher because our module was successfully deleted next thing we need to do is boot into twerp recovery for that the first thing we need to do is turn off our device once the device has turned off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo back into twerp recovery we'll go into install 
and now again you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the twerp recovery flashable zip file in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case it is in the root directory all we need to do is select the file miui 11 stable launcher and then swipe to confirm flash once the process has finished successfully all you need to do is click on reboot system back into android we can unlock our device one more time go into magisk check the modules just to make sure that i am not using the magisk module now and then we can go back into settings and home screen default launcher bam we have the option for system launcher which is our miui 11 stable launcher and we can also go into settings and apps manage applications search for system launcher there it is sys system launcher in the building you can see that the version is release 4.15 which means this is miui 11 stable launcher working like a boss on the redmi k20 pro and that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you